Fez. Brian Bennett and Fez Whiteley with you tonight on a Wednesday. Guys, I got to think about some greasing tonight. I got to eat something. I could eat something. I skipped the whole dinner I'm in. thing. I skipped the whole dinner thing. It is the uh, Ron and Fez show. We'll be with you till 11 o'clock tonight. Uh, make sure you're paying mm. attention for that sweet Melissa coming up a little uh, while later. Your chance to win a gift certificate to the Vante Salon and Spa. Fezzy, what else is happening in the news? Well, here's something to look forward to, Ronnie. Yeah. I guess starting in March, pretty much uh, just the next month, the Ad Council is getting together with the Cancer Society to uh, for National Colon Cancer Screening Month, which is March. Yeah. All right. They've hired Tim Allen... And he's going to voice these commercials. They'll feature him. And what they're bringing in is a new character, Polyp Man. Polyp Man is going to tell us all to go get our asses screened. Now, does Polyp Man give you polyps? Is that his superpower? See, that's what I don't know. If Polyp Man is like a good polyp, yeah. I don't think there is such a thing. Or is he the bad guy? Are we trying to get Polyp Man? It seems like Pilot Man should be a bad guy. Pilot Man should be a villain. Now, Tim Allen's doing this? Yeah, Tim Allen's voice is going to be on the commercials. I don't know if he's actually going to be the guy in the bright red polyp suit, which is going to be humiliating for somebody. If I was Tim Allen, I'd be on the phone right now trying to get a home improvement TV movie. <laughs> Find out where we are are now. You know, the kids are getting bigger. Sure. Maybe they have kids. I'm older, but I still break things around the house. Please get me out of the Polyp Man commercials. It's uh, it's kind of sad, huh? It's Polyp really Man. sad, yeah. Cause all I, and the, the costume, it's going to be this big polyp. This big red polyp. Someone's going to actually play Polyp Man. Finally, we have this. <laughs> and what are they going to say? This could be, this could be uh, a problem with your ass. Polyp Man, we need you to talk to Captain Cankersaur. <laughs> there seems to be a problem. <laughs> Get together with the Headlights League. Silver sli- Syphilis is coming in a little later on. Oh. Surfing his way here. Polyp Man. See, this is just going to add to a bad trend. This is going to start. The Syphilis Surfer. <laughs> <laughs> he surfs in giving syphilis to all the bad guys. Oh. And he'll be, uh, he'll have his partner, Gang Green Lantern. Up and Adam, Adam AIDS. You just you're for, you're going around making people sick. This is not uh, superhero stuff. It's gonna be disgusting. Kids are gonna see this, and they're gonna want to be Polyp Man for Halloween. Fantastic Foreskin is also <laughs> going to help out. <laughs> Lung Spotter Man. Nice. All of a sudden now, cancer is gonna be part of the comic books. Right. I don't get I don't get that at all. And like is, are the kids gonna be interested? You gotta start worrying about this stuff when you're in your thirties. No twelve year old's gonna be worried about a polyp. An ass polyp's not gonna scare him. I know. Who are you marketing this thing to? Iron poor blood man. Can you help us? <laughs> uh oh, look out, it's the hemoglobin goblin. <laughs> what does he do? I think he's clotting. Ah, oh, he's clotting the highways and byways. The black lung widow <laughs> is coming soon. And here she comes with a golden lasso. It's Wonder One Breast. You're not gonna have a Wonder One Breast as a Just superhero. A, as a single breast that's right. out there <laughs> fighting crime. With my single breast, I'll be able to stop them. <laughs> Unless she goes up against Hercules. The legions of doom are waiting for us. Pilot man, please help us. <laughs> Scabby arrow. We'll take care of you. Is that Colin Invader? There they are, Ronnie. The brand new breed of superheroes. I'll throw my colostomy bag at them. Stand back. I'm Captain Colostomy. <laughs> Is that one breast woman? There they are. The Invasive Surgery 5. <laughs> Along with the incredible shrinking lymph node. 
Hey, Dan. Dan, you're on running Fez. Hey, Dan. What is? Hey, buddy. I am Power Man. Quick, isolate that. Make it into a promo. <laughs> I am Polyp Man. Beware the shadowy mass. Let's return to the polyp hole. The shadow on my lung nose. Let me slide down the poop chute. <laughs> Quickly. Hey, uh, Eddie. Eddie, you're on uh, Ron of Fez. Hey, Eddie. What is a spider vein man? Spider vein man. Or hemorrhoid hook. <laughs> the hemorrhoid hulk. Oh, God. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. And if these things work in March from the Ad Council of the Cancer Society with Polyp Man, yeah. we're going to see every one of these. The Tumor Raiders. We're going to see them. Yeah, it'll, they'll be out there. The Power Pancreatic gir <laughs> Pancreatus Girls. Thor is now open Thor. <laughs> I have an open Thor. I have a Thor throat, man. Every superhero will be just going this. Help me. Help me. I know these two, these superheroes are going to be too weak to work. Don't get the package like us. We're the unprotected sex men. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blind. James, you're on Run and Fez. Hey, James. Hey, yeah. I am Sphincter Man. Sphincter Man. Tighten up, Sphincter Man. <laughs> Tighten up. Stop being such an a-hole. Follow me. Down the poop shoot, everyone. Hey, uh, Dave. Dave, you're on Run and Fez. Hey, Dave. Hello? Hey, buddy. Yes. Yeah, the Rhea sisters, Ghana and Daya. Rhea twin <laughs> powers, activate. Yeah, the twin sisters. Back. This is a job for me. Gunneria! <laughs> Form of a burning leak. <laughs> hey, John. John, you're on uh, Ron and Fez. Hey, John. Hello? Yeah. What about the excrement men? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they're all freaks. Those excrement men, they're all freaks. But they've found each other. That senator needs to stop them. The incredible shrinking lymph node is with us today. <laughs> Fighting the incredible hacking cough. Justin, Justin, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, Justin. I am Prostate of Confusion Man. <laughs> <laughs> I will whack you with my giant. <laughs> <laughs> Beware the powers of Captain Kowaloskami. These bags of poop will, will set us free. Hey, uh, Matt. Matt, you're on our run of Fez. Hey, Matt. You sex gods, how are you? Instead of underdog, it's underpass. Eh, no, not so good. Uh. Not so good. <laughs> not so good. I'm not going to lie to you. No, uh-uh. Hey, Corey. Corey, you're on our run of Fez. Hey, Corey. How, you know, Corey? how yeah. about uh, the Sinister Syphilis? <laughs> I like that one. Here's one on the instant feedback from Pete. Dr. Strange Mumps. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Frank. Frank, you're on uh, Ron Fez. How you doing, buddy? Hello, Frank. Yeah, we have the Jaundice League to serve and protect. <laughs> the Jaundice League of America. Only yellow will protect us now. <laughs> and they're fighting Rector. Rector. You again. <laughs> Hey, uh, Tracy, you're on Ron and Fez. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Ron and Fez. Hey. I'm uh, one over a uterus woman here today, and I just think that maybe possibly Tim Allen's character might be, even though he's a uh, polyp man, he might be a good guy to get rid of the polyps. He's there to fight the, the, the nasty polyp in the, in the colon. So uh, you're worried about this yeah. whole situation, right? Yeah, I'm really worried. You know, it's just like crapping me up tonight. Okay. Here can be your theme song, okay, darling? All right. For your superheroine. All right, ready? Stupid girl. To the rescue. That's not an invisible plane. She's sitting on the ground. 
because she's a stupid girl. Hey, Jim. Jim, you're on uh, Ron and Fez. Hi, Jim. Hey, Ron. Hey, Fez. Hey, buddy. How about Dr. Shanker and his sidekick, Thrush? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Shanker's up to no good. <laughs> Dr. Shanker. Seven writes this in on the answer feedback. What about Gangrene Lantern? <laughs> nice. Uh, Ikea Boy likes Lupus Skywalker. Well, I don't know if that's, uh, that's a superhero. -y. Dave says, what about enlarged prostate man? He grows when there's trouble. Melanoma Magneto. Remember the badge, kids, and you won't see me back again. <laughs> enlarged prostate man. <laughs> I'll handle your radioactive pellets. H-Box wants to see the Teenage Mutant Ninja Tumors. <laughs> Teenage <laughs> Mutant Ninja Tumors. I guess they live underneath. Cancer in a half shell. Tumor power! <laughs> Prostate Man is hiding from Preparation H. <laughs> Go to your doctor once a year or meet our fate. The fantastic four months to live. <laughs> Up against the Invasive Surgery 5. Mac, you're on a fez. Hey, Mac. Hey, Big Ass 2030. <laughs> <laughs> you got yeah, Captain, Captain Ebola and the Bloody <laughs> Anus Mobile. <laughs> See ya. Peeling out? Oh, we can't say that. Why? Uh, it's a little too, uh, yeah, with the blood What's part. so graphic about that? Blood. Now we can't say blood. You can say blood, but just not coming out of uh, down there. You know, I didn't say it was coming out. You know, Rudy is. He just dumped out of commercials. <laughs> Rudy, he used to be one of us. He's so high. Yeah. Wearing a wire, son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, uh, Phil, you're on Ron Fez. Hey, Phil. Hey, guys. Yeah. Coming soon to a theater near you, Mark Singer is the yeast master. Yeast master. <laughs> I master all the yeast. Be dripping. <laughs> This is a job for bread. I'm Yeast Master. I've stolen your dough, Yeast Master. Stole dough. Where's my yeast? <laughs> <laughs> Trouble's rising, Yeast Master. I'm in the mood to eat some bread. I'm Yeast Master. <laughs> Watch out, ladies. Here comes Hysterectomo. 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 Well, Ron, the place has been cleaned out. It must have been hysterectomo. It's empty. <laughs> it's just a box. <laughs> Nothing left. Hysterectomo has struck again. All they left was this empty box. All the goods are gone. It's hysterectomo. Damn him. <laughs> he struck again. Hey, Mike. Mike, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, Mike. You forgot their sidekick, Wolverine. Wolverine, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> hey, uh, Alex. Alex, you're on uh, Ron and Fez. Alex. This is Captain Chlamydia. <laughs> Hello, Captain. How are you today? I hope you have no chlamydia today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's all he checks He's very him. polite. Uh, all these... Um, Superheroes are specialist. <laughs> Here's uh, Carlos. Carlos, uh, you're on a run of Fez. Carlos. Welcome to the show, buddy. Hey, how about Conan the Ovarian? Sorry, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Later. That's it. I have the power. Conan the Ovarian. Mike. You're on uh, Ron and Fez. Hey, Mike. Hey, what's up, buddy? What can we do for you? Yo, you missed the most important guy. Who's Clatman. that? Clapman. 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 Nope. This is I, Clapman. So, Clapman, we meet again. I follow the drip. <laughs> I'm Clapman. He'll remember Clapman. <laughs> oh, God, it's penicillin. No! <laughs> Damn you, Clapman. Curses. Foiled again. But I'll be back next week. 
with my companion Drip Man. Mike, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, Mike. What's Mike? up, guys? Yeah. What you got, Beware Mike? Of the ang- Mike, you cut out there. Beware of the anal avenger. Anal avenger. Thank Otherwise you. known as mild-mannered Al Dukes. <laughs> <laughs> then he becomes rector. <laughs> Living here in this dank cave of his... <laughs> The anal avenger looks over the colon midway to the prostate. They only think of me as Al Dukes. When in fact I am anal avenger. <laughs> Taking on Pollock Man. Sliding down the to- the poop chute. Will anal avenger defeat Pollock Man? I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> I'm in a Lavenger! To the rescue! Lewis, Lewis, you're on Ron Fez. Hi, Lewis. What's going on, guys? Hey, buddy. Hey, don't forget the leader of the Jaundice League, Lex Lupus. Lex Lupus. <laughs> he was foiled uh, by the Herpes Twins. Really? Yes. Was... Nice work. <laughs> All right, this on the instant feedback. In Avenger, look out for Dr. Jellyfinger! <laughs> That rubber glove is too close. Back away. Slowly. <laughs> too late. Hey, uh, John. Hey, running. John. Hey, how's it going? Yes. Hey, all these superheroes need a headquarters. Uh, right? They need the balls of justice. <laughs> Let's give our salute. We turn our head and cough. <laughs> <laughs> Later, guys. Swollen Nad Man. Scott, Scott, you're on Ron of us. Hey, Scott. Um, how about instead of Transformers, Transgenders? Transgenders. Transgenders. More than just one guy. Females <laughs> in disguise. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. That's it. Hey, Corey, Corey, you're on Ron of us. Hey, Corey. Six, five. Hoo-ah! 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 Prince Albert Power with the gay green geese. <laughs> 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 Thor Taint. Here's Lizzie. Lizzie, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, Lizzie. Hi, Ron and Fez. Hi, baby. I got goiter guy. Goiter guy. Yeah. Time to blow up these goiters and get out of here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Bulging his way to justice, it's goiter guy. With these super goiters, nobody can look at me. Here's uh, Scott. Scott, you're on uh, Ron Fez. Hey, Scott. Scott. Hi, I'm Dr. Fleet, your arch enema. Arch enema. Of Polyp Man. <laughs> Polyp Man fears Dr. Fleet, his arch enema, who intends to clear out the entire area. Not if I can help it. It's Pollock Man. Hey, Bob, you're on a Fez. Hey, Ron Fez. Okay, instead of the uh, Powerpuff Girls, what about the Harry Muff Girls? All right, is that even a disease? <laughs> no, Fighting <but> crime. <laughs> <laughs> the Harry Muff Girls. It's not, yeah, it's not even a disease. It's just really bad grooming. It's just a guy calling in to say Harry Muff Girls. <laughs> and Earl's laughing away. I, that was a good show tonight, that whole Harry Muff thing. It made me think of a muff. <laughs> Macy Gray. <laughs> Earl, tell me the truth. Would you do Macy Gray? Come here, Taint Man. Taint Man, over here. King Taint? Uh, no. Please. You wouldn't do Macy Gray and finish off in her hair? <laughs> It's a great fro. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, to your face, everybody here, I'd munch it. Wow. Face down in Macy Gray. <laughs> You'd find me there the next morning. Still trying to find your way home. Like one of those big hedge maze- mazes. <laughs> Just searching your way. You're in a maze. Trapped <laughs> inside the Macy Gray muff. <laughs> <laughs> the muff maze of Macy Gray. With a machete just swinging away, <laughs> trying to get home. You know, that afro on her head is actually connected. Really? Yeah. That grows all the way up. Yeah. Oh, that's rough. In reality, she's bald. <laughs> it's a comb up. You've heard of a comb over. It's a comb up. She combs up and over. Three times I've been told that I 
She's the greatest thing today. Woo! Muff or no muff? <laughs> She's like Samson. You cut that muff, she loses her singing abilities. She would lose her powers. She's the best. Earl, is this a thing of you won't do any black women? Oh, not that, just not that black. Woman. How could that? She's too black. No. <laughs> do they have to have afros on their nips? <laughs> she can't help it. That's part of the comb up and over. I'd be done at picking it out. I would pick it. Like it was Wilson. She'd be calling me Wilson Pickett when I was down there. <laughs> One of those wheat threshers. I'd be just playing, to drive in there. I literally would be playing handball against it. <laughs> if that's possible. <laughs> You're going to lose the ball in there. Hey, uh, Andy. Andy, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, Andy. Hey, guys. It's card on the 6043. Hoo-ha, hoo-ha. Anyway. What I'm calling for is for our African American brothers, Captain yeah. Sickle Cell. Oh, come on. <laughs> down south hey, they're laugh. down south they're actually uh fans of his. <laughs> they consider him a superhero down south. See ya. He's good in that territory. And you'll be locked up in another sickle cell. You'll find yourself behind bars in a sickle cell. Earl, listen to her. You and me down in this? Getting some Macy gravy? I'd have my feet on the I'd have my feet on the bed board. <laughs> then Earl, name a black woman you would. Aretha uh, Franklin. <laughs> no. And nobody high yellow. Uh Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks. See, she's practically white. Pick a real African American woman. Uh and Serena stop, Williams. And stop at Serena Williams. Wow, you did it. I said woman, not guy. <laughs> Okay, great. Sid. Now they're going to drag me out in the Sidmobile. <laughs> Take another letter of apology. <laughs> hey, uh, Mike, you're on my defense. Hey, Mike. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Hey. But yeah, it's card 1027. <laughs> um, yeah, you forgot uh, about the most powerful superhero around. Who's that? The rash. The fastest irritation on earth. <laughs> the rash. The rash. <laughs> Spreading yeah, so they, quickly. <laughs> Jesse, you're on a fez. Hey, Jesse. Hey. How about instead of poison ivy, poison HIV? <laughs> I'm poison. HIV. <laughs> uh, Mike wants to know, Earl, would you do urethra, Franklin? <laughs> the new superheroine. <laughs> you want to do urethra, Franklin? Now, no. Anytime. Let's say you can pick her anytime in history. 67. Probably. I'd bang her now. <laughs> I'd pull down my pants and stab those chins. Me too. Oh, God. <laughs> I'd squint my eyes and pretend it was Aunt Jemima. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting the syrup. I would do Aretha Franklin just to have the story to tell. And have a squat on your pancakes. <laughs> I literally would use a uh, pancake as a condom. I'd wrap a pancake around there. What you got down there, waffles? Earl, why won't you get your freak on with the black girls? You're always after white girls. I, I never said I wouldn't. <laughs> Just not Aretha French. I do Aretha. How about Patty LaBelle? Nice. <laughs> Pat, Patty actually looks very good for her age. So you would do Patty LaBelle. So that's a yeah. yes? Yeah, I would do Patty. All right, what about uh, Mom's Mabley? <laughs> Not with Fez. Fez? Never mind. What? Don't drag me into your Mom's Mabley. You wouldn't fantasy. use Fez's unit? <laughs> I saw Earl J. Owen the other day to a picture of William Perry, the refrigerator. <laughs> Don't tell me you were spanking the, no. the fridge. The fridge? They got him in a TV commercial for Super Bowl this weekend. My friend, that's Aretha Franklin in that really? commercial. Really? <laughs> Doing the Super Bowl guessing. shuffle. <laughs> I'll tell you, the Super Bowl shuffle, the only rap song I ever really liked. I like the one about General Hospital. Uh, would you do Star Jones? Hell no. Come on, Earl. Now Carter. Yes, I would. Extremely <laughs> hell no. I would Give definitely her a break. I definitely would Give do that break. break. But all these women we're talking about, I'll be doggy stuff. 
<laughs> so I can watch that egg. <laughs> 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 You're just beating on those sides. Your problem is you want... All right, we'll try to find black women that Earl would be with. All right. So, so far, we're not coming up with any. Well, I gave you two. What about... Uh, what about... Remember uh, what's happening? Oh, Shirley Hempel? Would you do Shirley Hempel? She's dead. Pretty dead. <laughs> you can go back in time. No. Yeah, in a, in a, a perfect fantasy. world. In a perfect world, you can go back in time. Oh, what about Mama. I do, Mama. Oh, this is true. All right, here's one for you on the instant feedback. Whoopi Goldberg, girl. No. I break that ass. <laughs> maybe maybe during Jumpin' Jack Flash, I'd do that. <laughs> Once she came out with a great film, Jumpin' Jack Flash, what'd you do her then? You gotta go that far back. What about Ghost or... Uh... I'm lying. I do her in the That's donut right. commercials now. <laughs> I put the two, I put two elements around my unit. <laughs> I start spanking her with it. Hey, this is your favorite cake, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Earl. I will tell you my favorite. You wouldn't do that. Grab them cakes. <laughs> no. I'd bang her in the center square. <laughs> I'd bend her over a center square desk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, with Wheezy, watch it. Hey, Mike, Mike, you're on a fuzz. Hey, Mike. Hey, will Earl do Aunt Jemima? What about Aunt Jemima? She was real. <laughs> no. And you didn't have to worry about getting it caught in a bottle. There's something sexy about that do rag. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. Do you want to give her the makeover? Yeah, right. <laughs> they gave, they her, gave like her, a, her like pearls. A cherry pearl. They gave her a pearl necklace. Right. And they put her on welfare. Hey. <laughs> hey. That was the makeover? More Scott, food stamps? Scott, you're on my defense. What's up, fellas? Yeah. Big-ass card. The, the faggot out dicks never sent it out yet. Kua. Kua. Uh, yeah, I got a question for Earl. I just Earl, come on. Bang, um, would, would he bang Maya Angelou? Uh, yeah, I would. No. I would just to call people that morning. Yeah, guys, I, I guess who I just ran one on. My I get right from behind. As long as she's not reading a poem, it's foreplay. Oh, that's that would give me. Right. Now, Earl, here's right. the sick thing. How come I'd be with so many more African American women than you? Who's the racist here? You or me? Uh, I, I just, Either you're a racist or you're gay. I can't figure it out. No, not just fat ones. <laughs> I know, but I wouldn't want my Angelou yelling, get up, get it up, uh, rise it up. I'd be so turned on. I don't know if I could even the, get in then, I'd be so turned the on. The pressure. I've heard telling you to get up. I mean, like this. Easy, baby. Let me do the talking here for five minutes. You shut that pie hole. <laughs> shut the poem hole for five minutes. She starts yelling at me. I'm turning the hoses on her. Oh. <laughs> All right, Queen Latifah. Queen you know, Le wait, let me tell you, Le when I, I turn the hose on her, but it'd be completely different. <laughs> you know what? There was a, for a while, absolutely. She's gotten a little... Latifah? Yeah. When did it change for you? When she, she got a little, uh, got a little hefty. I think she has a D. Hey, stop it. She's a big girl. Oh, that's the other thing. That. There's been rumors about she, she's... What? <laughs> She doesn't like guys. So what? I get her and Shirley Hempel at the same time. Oh. <laughs> Shirley Hempel, for a while, tried to go with the kid and play look. That was a great look. <laughs> Just those shaved all around the sides and then straight up with the fro. This is literally the best person out there. Macy Gray is the best person out today. And you notice, it's like your career's falling off already. People are already yeah. freaked by her. All right, from the instant feedback, Tootie from Facts of Life. Yes. You gotta say yes. Yeah, absolutely. Even when she she's was gotten, young. She's gotten harder if she's gotten older. I do her when she had the skates on. <laughs> she was not. Sacco. All right, here's John. Hey, John. Yeah. Ask girl if he do Florida. Florida. Yeah. Mr. Roll, she's Before. Uh, I'll pass. All right, I you would gotta pass on Florida. I definitely do Florida. That's Opie's good. Florida, Winona, Penny. I, I'd have to bang that whole show. Earl, you can have Bookman. <laughs> Linda, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, Linda. Oh, um, what about Oprah Winfrey? Oprah Winfrey, oh, would good you do one. it? Good one. 
pre or post diet? Uh, no, post. Which diet? He was. <laughs> and don't tell me you're better than Stedman. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, Earl. I put the O in Oprah. <laughs> Ron, have you ever lived with a black girl? Uh, yes, I have. It was Oprah. <laughs> and Esther Roll. It was me, Oprah, and Esther Roll in a You're three-way. You're on an Esther Roll. <laughs> I was with both of them in a three-way. I get wood just hearing this song. Going way back, a classic African-American, classic beauty, but a flame McQueen. I don't know nothing about going down on them, Johnson. Uh, no. Huh. Odd. I don't know. Sometimes I think you're crazy. Here's Toby. Toby, you're on a fest. We're trying to find a nice woman for Earl. We are? What? Hey, Toby. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. What can we do for you? How about uh, Dion Warwick? Oh, both nostrils. Yeah. Both I would, nostrils. I would do it with Dion Warwick. <laughs> and you don't even have to send her over. All right, what do you say there, Earl? Dion Warwick. Oh. Uh, little nostril nookie. No. <laughs> she can tell you your future and give you a hummer. <laughs> what is he talking about? I have no idea. Eight seven seven six nine two one zero two seven. Here's uh, Stephanie. Stephanie, you're around a fest. We're trying to find a chick for Earl. Hey, Stephanie. Hey guys, how are you? Hey, can you help us set Earl up? I think I, I think I have it. Yeah. What about Miss Cleo? Yeah, definitely Miss Cleo. Uh, Earl, I know you've sat up spanking to Miss Cleo late at night. Uh, no. Because she's psychic, she'll know how good. Yeah, she is, Earl. Stop it, Earl. Now, tell me the truth, okay? And let's be serious for let, a second. Unless it's a swear word, don't hit that. What's he dumping out of things? He dumped that girl. <laughs> Who are you to dump out the show, Earl? The reflex. I'm sorry. What reflex? What show lets you dump out? We got some guy down the hallway that'll do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't... Trust me, he does it constantly. <laughs> all right, let's all settle down here, and I want you to tell me the truth, Earl. And this is sto- totally serious. Even today, would you climb on the back of the bus and bang Rosa Parks? Because <laughs> I would have to. And, well, you know what I'd put? i say, when this bus is a rock and don't come knocking, it's me and Rosa. <laughs> I'd bang her all the way up to the change machine. <laughs> that would be the only way to get her to the back seat, finally. All right, let me go. Uh, what about this one? Would you do Tina Turner? Tina, yes. What about Tina Yathers? Oh, she's not black. <laughs> Never mind. Are you serious? <laughs> hey, uh, Anthony. Anthony, you're on uh, Ron and Fez. Hey, Anthony. Hello. Yeah. Ron and Fez. Hey, Big buddy. ass card holder, 7176. Hoo, 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 Hey, uh, I wanted to ask Earl if he'd uh, like to shack up with the black crack whore from New Jack City. <laughs> she, I don't know. There's something about a crack whore when they get that white stuff around their mouth that's so sexy. Yeah, she looks even better when Chris Rock starts kicking her ass over a turkey drumstick. I know, and I'll tell you, is there something, you know, one of those girls will do anything you want, no matter how hideous. It's a cheap date. All right, see, you, right. <laughs> For eight bucks, you can, you can violate her everywhere. You get the world and everything. <laughs> I had one, uh, uh, another superhero. Yeah. Instead of the Black Panther, yeah. how about the Butt Planter? All right, thanks. <laughs> yeah. We moved on, buddy. Yeah. Here's, uh, here's Tony. Tony. Hey, Tony. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah. What Earl do, Sapphire? Dusty Rhodes' old manager? Oh, Sapphire, she's cute. He took her to the prom. I and a big her. polka dot prom dress. <laughs> oh, I always Sapphire, thought, you look so nice. I was always her in, hoping her and uh, Dusty would get married and have a baby. <laughs> they did. It's gold dust. <laughs> 877 If you can help out our buddy Earl. Yeah. Well, this is this is all Earl wants to. Uh, all right, now some of these are actually way too good, like this one. I know you would, Mike. You're on Fez. Hey, Mike. Hey, Ron Fez. How are you? Call yeah. hold to twenty nine sixty one. I want to know is Earl still, or I shouldn't say still, 
Earl, you're into Pam Greer. Remember her? Sure. Oh, yeah. Who was it? I do. And how about even still today? I still today, do Pam yeah. Greer. Oh, to this day. I, you know, I do uh, Pam Greer. Uh, Earl would do Rosie Greer. That's nice. How into it we are. <laughs> hey, uh, Eric. Eric, you're on Ron Fez. Hey, Eric. Hey, Ron Fez. Hey. I, I got two for Earl. All right. One is, uh, how about Harriet Tubman? Who's Harriet Tubman? From the Underground, Underground Railroad? Railroad? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd take her downtown. Right. And what about uh, when Flip Wilson used to dress up as a chick? The devil made me do it. Geraldine! Now, you gotta admit this. I mean, like, if you didn't know, Geraldine was hot. She had good legs. Yeah, yeah I know. She had she was, turn her legs. She was always yeah. in stockings and boots. Is Flip, How about it, Earl? Mini dress. Is Flip Wilson still alive? Yeah. No. No, he died. Flip Wilson's gone, Earl. What happened there? I think it was the cancers. I flip them. I flip them for real. Oh, you could be my brand new killer. Oh, the devil made me go out to black, Earl. Hey, where my the... boyfriend better not find out about you, Earl. Taking me to a prize closet. Where's the hell is uh, Allie? I have no idea. It's her birthday. I was told she's going to be here at 839, actually. Oh, uh, okay. Because we got to <laughs> uh, move on and do some stuff. Right. Earl, if you could uh, have any woman, who would it be? I'm not wearing any panties. I know that's your fantasy. I see right. you following her around. I know that for a yeah. fact. All right, we'll be right back. 877-692-1027 is Ron Fitz. Hey. 